to another Forex training video from Day Trading Forex Live. I'm Chad and today we're going to cover the trapping patterns we often see before the banks turn to markets to make profits. Okay, Before we go to the charts what I want to go over is the two main roles of the banks in Forex when it pertains to us. Number one is to provide, provide liquidity for everybody in the market ranging from hedge funds to large corporations etc. Second thing is that they want to make profits using these orders. Okay, the orders on the books are what we call order flow, and they can see everybody's orders. Yours, mine, in a five trillion dollar a day market, there are literally thousands, if not hundreds of thousands, of orders sitting on their books. Now, if you could, just the question you need to ask yourself is that if you had access to this information, knowing where all the orders are sitting, would you use this information to make money? And of course you would. I know I would, so it's pretty much a no-brainer. Now let's go ahead and get to the charts and I'll show you exactly what it looks like, what I'm looking for as far as entries. It's more or less a, or a reversal candle pattern, okay, at critical levels, all right? Now, if you're looking for just these candle patterns, you're just, you're going to see them all over the place, all right? Uh, but what they look like is, is something to this effect, all right? It's what I call a set of legs, which is they push it up and then suck it right back. Push it up, suck it right back. Now this particular setup is, is two sets of legs, and we only actually need one, and then wait for the pullback, take the entry. What we want to see is either the second set of legs or another pin, which give us a typical M or W formation before the market turns. Now in this particular case, what I'm going to do is go through two weeks of, of data on the three pairs that I trade. I'm going to try to make this video as short as possible. So I'm not going to cover every single entry and, and why it is or isn't valid, but let's just point out these two here, all right? These two are decent setups as far as the price action goes, the candle patterns, etc., but the levels are bad, all right? we're looking for the highest probability levels where where that liquidity is sitting in order to take the trade when we see the price I want price to actually touch the level and then see the candle pattern and and then go off alright because there's this one here this one here but in this particular at this particular time there was no market direction okay so trading the Asian range is a lot more risky okay you uh, I do know, know members that do that, but it's part of their trade plan, and and they continually do that on a regular basis. All right, for me, I'd rather take the just a higher probability, low risk entries, and these are what I'm going to show you. All right, just move on. See here again, because we didn't have direction until the market actually broke out. No entry here, even though got three pins to the low of the day. Here was uh, the classic backside entry. All right, we didn't have any direction throughout this whole time. So in order to use the Asian range again, all right, this one shows conviction. Then the setup to go long. Uh, conviction is not something I'm going to cover in this video either. You'll find it on the site or in the members area. See again, setup, no entry. Why? Time of day. All right, great level. However, this is what the market typically does, and if you're not, we don't recommend that we hold trades overnight. So we'd be getting out of break even if you did take that. Here again, another backside entry. Market shows conviction to the downside here. A little bit higher risk, but decent setup. Higher risk. Why? Because we're coming into the New York Open. This is actually a trade I took. Now the I did use a, a bit of a weaker level with the 113.52. I know uh, we were talking about this in the forum when I took it. However, great setup, nice set of legs, indecision candle in between. However, higher risk entries like this, what I do is I wait for more candle patterns. Gave it in the two pins right here. one two pins entry taken on this candle 
and it goes 13, 13.47 was my entry. It did actually go 77 pips. I had my take profit a little bit lower once it started making this reversal at a decent level. It uh, came back and knocked me out at plus 40, a 2 to 1 trade. Scrolling on. Here we go. Is, uh, another decent entry. We got a nice level, some daily levels there. Got a set of legs here, pulls back, gives the pin. All right. Entry anywhere after that. However, since it couldn't go off, the best thing to do is close it before New York Open, and this is why. Uh, another one. Here we go. This is this is a little bit higher, um, more advanced entry, mainly because of the fact that uh, on the Euro, nine times out of ten, the uh, conviction on the during the Asian session on this particular pair is false and sure enough got the, got the stop run to the Asian highs uh, actually not quite a, not quite what I would call a stop run because it didn't run at least three to five pips above gotta remember typically uh, traders are taught to put their stops uh, beyond levels at least five pips and uh, at the very least beyond the level and if they're going to get their stops typically they're around five pips out so we want to see three to five pips uh, in this particular case being it's only 2.3 then I would say that this is nabbing the breakout traders and then stopping them out towards the middle of the range before they pull back and then go off again okay so decent entry somewhere over in in this in this area here after this pin so risk is not bad 50 pip trade okay now let's go to the pound okay February 2nd nothing no trade February 3rd comes into a nice level now let's just show you this level here really quick there it is daily level did show a little bit of conviction but I already tested the next level so back to our 15 minute and nice setup alright nice set of legs since it didn't come back and, and you know you could have taken it on this this candle right here on the pullback either at the daily low or a little bit lower risk is a little bit stretching it but after this pin gives you another pin once it's, when it's this far out in time gives you that pin the extra risk is uh, negligible because they've shown a little bit more that this is put this is higher probability of, of being the manipulation and sure enough runs off 180 pips to the highs okay here again we have direction all right this this one's a little bit tricky uh, mainly because we didn't really we don't really have the test of the level Asian range is high enough we have direction Asian range is large enough to to take it uh, from the setup there we didn't actually see it tag the level until this candle pattern over here same set of legs and what do they do get breakout traders to the highs knock them out in the middle of the range and then go off 90 pips to those highs here's a, a really nice actually this one fulfills the confirmation entry rules as well it's the high of the day coming into New York and typically we see this you see how it moved off comes back up tests the highs again with another pattern this is typical when they when too many traders get on board and they want to try to flush them out anybody that was short here saw price move off went in profit banks saw that they weren't going to make much money on the push and they pulled it back given another set of legs not that this was uh, something that I would trade because I typically don't trade New York but valid setup okay here's one that actually didn't work out 
all right I know actually that that some members took this trade and direction wasn't all that clear because of the the way the pushes were were but nice large Asian range 48 pips test the high set of legs actually a set of legs before that but we want the one that tests the high and take the entry over here boom stopped out all right that just goes to show you that the that you know nothing is a hundred percent but as you can see uh, if you're taking the safer entries you're into making profits as long as you got a good trade plan here again daily high fairly decent set of legs not all that great with this pin this one's much better a little bit higher risk entry on the New York Open but gave a really good entry and 130 pips to the day's lows okay there's another one we took actually we took this one in the room nice set of legs come back pulls back this was the line at entry 152 actually 46 is what I got and it runs off almost 50 pips it it missed the uh, my take pro my 50 pip take profit actually I did have my take profit a little bit lower when it couldn't break this daily low which I expected I would went ahead and locked in the, the 40 pips comes back almost takes me out at 40 pips before knocking me out break even during New York this is where having your having your trade plan comes in deciding whether or not you're going to just take the money and run or risk it and, and end up getting stopped out break even like I did I know several members that actually got the 40 pips on this one on the way down no entry here and that's pretty much it for the pound Okay, your yen. This one is uh, a nice entry. I know I'm pretty sure a member I talked to in the mornings took. Uh, got the two pins to the lows. Decent level at 132.46 and goes off. Actually, a third pin to the low is even better. See that? Okay, come up to the Asian highs. 102 pip range why isn't this a decent set of legs uh, because all we got is all we have is the Asian range now you, we could have taken this all right but the probability of it once it once it goes up is testing the next more significant level which is not far away sure enough it did afterwards even if you got the best entry here almost tagged you out broker could have got you by the spread and then run off this is why I want to see hit the levels all right nice set of legs decent pullback testing into a candle pattern here low volume up candle saying big boys aren't participating in that move entry around that close or somewhere around its highs 12 pips risk 50 pip 60 pip run for the end of the day This one's a uh, quiet would be deterrent would be termed as a uh, more aggressive entry as well because of the time of day you're actually taking it towards the end of the Asian session and they're uh, you're leaving yourself open for any potential manipulation that happens during Frankfurt or London all right however really great candle pattern got two sets of legs and a pin in between any time during these candles is doable as long as you understand that risk all right there this thing ran for 260 pips this is not something that I took but I do believe I, I know a member that did okay here again testing previous days highs set of legs two indecision candles in between and any time here or here as I say the further the closer you get to uh, 
Frankfurt Open, the higher the risk the trade the entry is, however, did eventually go off decently. Now this is a, this is uh, something that I wanted to point out about the the time of day. I think uh, the euro euro dollar was actually showing the same candle pattern on this day, and this is typically why I don't recommend trading these. The liquidity is pretty much gone for the day so the potential for making a push are, is rather low unless you really want to hold it overnight through Asia you know it did uh, risk is a little bit high on this one as well so definitely a no okay these these are definitely nice setups. However, this one here should be marked in the orange. I forgot to change that color. Mainly because, as you can see here, something I'm, I'm not going to, to cover in great depth is that, hi, oh, okay, it's the other one, it's this one. We have, we actually have direction. This is what gives us direction on this particular day is, is some conviction to the downside. So the pro higher probability is that they're going to go down. So the the higher probability trade is, is this one up here. And this one to the lows is something that I wouldn't trade. Even though it did go off, They, I, I'm pretty sure this was a, a news move. Uh, if I remember correctly, the Greek deal. But... Anyway, the setup's a setup, and nice set of legs, 134.51 level, and pull back there, 11 pips on risk. Barely gave a 40 pip take profit for would have more than likely knocked me out break even. And another backside entry. All right, this one's a little bit harder to give you all the details on, but it's a valid entry, a backside to the daily level, mainly because it's got conviction during Asia. It does, being the Euro Yen, it does have more significance. Conviction holds to the downside. They, they test the level, pull it back up, then give the candle patterns. You got, you got this set of legs here, no indecision candle in between than this set of legs here, all right? Small pin. Actually, potential low volume test, but not necessarily. Take it at that close or on those lows and 88 pips there, 130 there. Okay, here again really clean setup I'm always a little bit concerned about these big wicks however as long as this, as long as it does engulf on the close gives another gives the pin this pin entry anywhere here 10 pips on risk almost gives a 40 pip take profit before knocking me out break even and then and again same thing this was manipulation however too many traders on board what do they do try to push them out okay well this video is going on a bit long so we're end it right here hope you all enjoyed it if you have any questions email us over at day trading forex live and take care